Hello Eagles, and welcome to the first show of the new year. I'm Sen. And I'm Terry. It's great to be back. As all of you know, Hurricane Irma recently tore through the state of Florida and Montverde Academy. Terry, how did you prepare for the hurricane? Yes, it was a really worrying time for all of us here at NVA. We bought supplies to help us through the weekend, and we made sandbags to stop the water from coming inside. Let's cross over to Taufik and see how Dr. Catherine dealt with the situation at Montverde Academy. You know, we got off to a good start, and then of course, you know, we had uh, you know, Hurricane Irma decide to come and visit us, That's so right. that, right. that put us uh, put us off our routine a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. So you hear about the hurricane coming. You know, you um, you have you're in a position where the first action is the most important. What is the first thing that came to your mind? Safety. Okay. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number one has to be you know the safety of everybody involved. And um, have you ever experienced a hurricane before? And you know, fortunate, fortunately or unfortunately, however you want to look at it, uh, you know, this is my 18th year at the academy, so I did go through three of them mm -hmm. in 2004 uh, that came through the campus at that time. So I had some had some experience on kind of what to expect from okay. that. Okay. You know, my um, you could have evacuated. You could have. You know, put someone else in charge. You know, you, you could have gone to somewhere safe. You know, why stay? Well, I think it's sort of uh, probably the equivalent of you know being the ship's captain. That you know, you, you got to stay with your ship, and mm -hmm, you got to uh, make sure that everybody's safe, and um, you know, and be here to face whatever good or bad comes. You got to be around to make sure that you know all goes well at the end of the day. That's right. You know, you're put into a situation where you're getting, you know, um, parent emails, you know, families mm -hmm. want to check in, you know, you're hearing the media and everything, you know. Did you overestimate this hurricane or did you have a pretty good idea of what was coming? Yeah, I think it's one of those things where, you know, you can't, you can't ever overestimate anything. I think, mm -hmm. you know, the more you can communicate and the better you plan, the better off you'll be. Um, you know, the, yeah, the biggest decision that, that had to be made was whether or not to leave, you know, students in the dormitories or move them, you know, down to the nest. Mm -hmm. So we erred on the side of caution, and I think it was a good decision to, you know, move everybody down to the nest, yeah, you know, for the duration right. of the storm. Um, and these types of decisions are a lot more about safety than they are, you know, convenience. Exactly. So exactly. we end up, yeah. you know, having to forego some conveniences to make sure that everybody's safe and, and then, you know, try to make the best of it in mm -hmm. the in the process. And, uh, you know, the other half, you know, was trying to keep parents informed as much mm -hmm. as possible. Um, you know, so I used that uh, Facebook pe uh, feature to do right. some videos. and. Uh, you know, keep parents in, informed and hopefully somewhat at ease that everybody was okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, in cases like this, yeah, you know, the best thing I could do is is try to bring um, you know calm and planning and um, confidence, right, right. you know, to the issue and and yeah, you know, make people feel that they're going to be okay and mm -hmm. yeah, we'll get through it. And we did definitely, definitely. Thanks, Taufik. It must have been very worrying for parents and students who witnessed their first hurricane last week. Yeah, this was my first time, and I was really worried about what could happen. There were many issues that all of us had to, oh, hair had to overcome. Let's see how some of the boarding students and day students dealt with the hurricane drama. Hey guys, I'm here with one of our prefects, Yoshi, and we're gonna ask a couple questions about his experiences during the hurricane. So, was this your first hurricane? Yes, that was my first hurricane in my life, and that was pretty interesting, I guess. So, Yoshi, where did the boarding students go to stay safe during the hurricane? Uh, we all went down to the nest, because uh, it's bigger and um, safer than staying in the dorm. What was it like with all the students being in the nest together? Uh, that was actually better than what I expected. Uh, I thought it was going to be boring, but we all had fun. We played uh, Uno, uh, volleyball, everything, watch a movie, so that was fun. So what extra things did the prefects do to help out? Uh, we had to make a uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner for every other student, and we also helped uh, clean up the nest and the uh, whole campus. That was, that was a good experience. Thank you. Next, we're here with Hugo, who's a day student. So, Hugo, was there any damage to your house during the hurricane? 
Um, yeah, there was a few things. Like we had a tree that fell in the front yard and like crushed the gate. <laughs> and then we had a tree that fell on top of our house and like went straight through to the bottom. So what was that experience like? Um, it was actually pretty scary because we honestly thought there was a tornado from the sound it made. So we all ran into like closets and stuff. But when we went out, we saw the tree like in our house. So yeah. So what did you and your family do immediately after the tree fell through the roof? So once the tree fell, we kind of just like got tarps and buckets and started putting it down because it started leaking and it was not clear. Like the water was not clear. And uh, we also like the next day, once the wind stopped, we went on the roof and like started patching up because we got like pretty big holes. Like we have a skylight now, so. <laughs> okay. Thanks Hugo and good luck with your roof. Next, you're here with Thomas Kavakas. So, Thomas, where are you from? I'm from Simbart, a little island uh, located in the Caribbean. So, was there any damage to your house from the hurricane? Well, it got flooded and some trees went off and, yeah, a lot of water. So, how did you feel seeing videos of your hometown during the hurricane? I was really sad, obviously. Um, seeing your home, like, fully destroyed is really hard and all I thought about was my family and friends over there. So have you heard from any of your friends and family back home? I didn't get any news for 24 hours. And then my dad called me with a satellite phone right after the hurricane passed. Thank you, Thomas. And now back to the main desk. Thanks, Kendall. We are really lucky here at Montford that we have so many people to take care of us. Yeah, I was staying in the gym throughout the hurricane. And although I was nervous, I feel, completely, I feel completely safe, thanks to everyone who was, who was with us. That's great. Let's see how Mr. Matos and the dorm parents were able to organize everything safely and smoothly. We're here with Mr. Matos to talk about the Hurricane Irma. How were the preparations to the hurricane? Um, we met every single day, um, trying to make sure that we had everything we needed, ordering supplies, and, and it's just, it was... It was kind of busy, but it was okay, I guess. I mean, we just had those meetings to talk about logistics and what we had to do and, you know, things like that. So, um, but it was fine, I think. After Irma, what did you guys work on? Um, well, we had to do a lot of things, obviously, after the, the hurricane uh, was over, I guess. There, uh, well, we had to move all the boarding students back to their dorms. We had to clean the nest, the floor. Um, we had to prep the meals for that day, obviously. We had to put together plans of action as of where are we gonna take them, and that's how we ended up taking everybody to, to Florida Mall. With the few staff members available and no electricity, how did you guys prepare all that food for all Bardeen students? To be honest with you, that was possible because of the Daniel staff that left things already prepped, I guess, for us. Uh, the dorm parents did an awesome job, prefects, uh, Mr. B, Dr. Rath, there were some coaches that also came to help us out. So, but it's, it was honestly a team effort. Uh, all of us, Mr. Meadow, myself, um, all of us worked together to do that. Obviously, we put together sandwiches because we didn't have any power. So that was the easiest thing to, to do. And, uh, but honestly, it was possible because of the people that I mentioned, dining hall staff, dorm parents, prefects, Mr. B, Dr. Rath, Mr. Meadow, and other coaches that came and helped out, Coach Boyle, uh, Coach Hill. There were, you know, all the coaches that helped out. And that's why it was possible. Thank you so much for your help and thank you for your answers. So we are here with Ms. Adrian. Ms. Adrian, how did you feel sleeping in the nest with all the students? It was actually kind of fun. As dorm parents, we don't always get to see like the boys and the girls in the school um, interact together. So it was nice seeing everybody play around together. Was it a challenge for the dorm parents to keep everybody fine and relaxed during the hurricane? Uh, not really. Um, I mean, for the most part, everyone did a really great job of like keeping their maturity level high and stuff like that, and we really didn't have any issues. Um, I think everyone was just so excited to be in the nest, hanging out together for like 48 hours, that that kind of kept those kids that maybe were a little anxious about the storm really distracted and stuff. Um, as far as like what our responsibilities were and stuff, I think maybe the biggest, I guess, challenge you could say was when you know we were preparing all the meals and stuff like the sandwiches and stuff like that for you guys and it's not even that that was necessarily hard versus maybe just more time consuming you know making almost 400 sandwiches for everyone um, but thankfully you guys kind of made it easy on us and stuff and 
um, the little things that did come up were pretty easy to kind of navigate through because you guys were doing a good job of just being mature. And Thanks, Kazoo. So, Sam, what did you do while the hurricane was here? Well, we all stayed in one room and played cards, listened to music, and did our best to get some sleep. That's cool. Now let's see what Brady has in store for us in this week's Men on the Street. How did you prepare for the storm, Sierra? Um, I charged my phone. Ogan, how did you prepare for the hurricane? Uh, we boarded up the house. We closed the windows off. You know, we put some we put some bed sheets up there so the windows wouldn't smash on us. Yeah, and then we filled up the tub so we could drink water just in case. So, did any damage happen to your house? A few shingles came off. A few roots. Are they called shingles? Like some parts of the roof came off. Trees, roots. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Victor Zollinger, how did you prepare for the hurricane? Tucci, are you a day or a boarder? A day. How did you prepare for the hurricane? I didn't. Are you a day student or a boarding student? I'm boarding student. How did you prepare for the hurricane being locked in school all day? Um, I was in gym. Teacher lead us to the gym and we live here. So everybody is fine and safe. Are you a day or a boarder? I'm a day student. How did you prepare for the hurricane? Uh, I really didn't prepare. I came out of power and I just I ended up going to my parents' house, my grandparents' house. So. Did your house receive any damage? Just no power, which is like the worst damage. So. How did you prepare for that hurricane? I left. I left Orlando. I went to New York. She's a day student. How did you prepare for the hurricane? Um, we put up sandbags outside the door. <laughs> How did you prepare for that hurricane? Uh, uh, pretty much sandbags at doors, that's about it. How did you prepare for the hurricane? I made sure my family had lots of water and we were prepared. Did any damage happen to your house? No, thank God. We had power the whole time and didn't lose any internet. We were good. Thanks, Brady. It's great to see that everyone was safe and secure during the hurricane. Yes, now that we're through the hurricane, it's great to be able to look back at the memories that we created with our friends and family. Yeah, it really is. Let's cross over to Addie and Emma at the sports desk. Thanks, Terry. What's up, Eagles? I'm Addie. And I'm Emma with your NBA sports update. Due to Hurricane Irma, most games and meets were rescheduled and even canceled. Wow, that's really awful. I know. But still, even Irma couldn't stop our Eagles. More than five of our teams were back to practice as soon as last Wednesday. Woohoo, Eagles! You know it, girl! <laughs> still, many games were rescheduled. So catch us next week with all the game results. Because there's plenty of games heading our way. You got it, dude. All right, back to y'all at the main desk. Thanks, guys. Being in Florida, we're very exposed to potential hurricanes, especially at this time of year. We have worked with Ms. Beckmeyer to compile a list of tips to help us in the future when a hurricane occurs again. Number one, try to distract yourself from your surroundings by doing things such as reading, listening to music, playing games, or being with friends. Number two, get lots of sleep and regulate your breathing to help you calm down. Next, get a massage as it will help relieve the tension. Make sure you are in a room with little to no windows at all. And lastly, make sure you have lots of food that does not require power to be cooked. Thanks, Ms. Beckmeyer. These tips could be very important in the future. Well, that wraps it up for this week's NBA Today. Thanks for joining us for this week's special Hurricane Edition. From all the students in the TV Studio Broadcasting course in the Stevens Media Arts Building, I'm San Ramio. And I'm Terry Drum. Go, Go Eagles! Eagles.